I've been asked often, uh, what was the concept, what was the format of that? And I've often said, well, that was one of, it only lasted about, you've heard of shows lasting 13 weeks? Mm -hmm. This one lasted about 13 minutes. <laughs> uh, it really didn't have a format. I th even Chuck said later in interviews that the reason that show was short-lived was because nobody likes to hear a mother-in-law get knocked. And I had, we, we had mother-in-laws and we had each one represented by a comedian and they would get up and knock the other mother-in-laws. And it was a format that just didn't make any sense, you know, Was, wasn't happy. So that only lasted for a while. Well, first of all, our set was red, white, and blue for God, Mom, and Apple Pie, I guess. <laughs> and uh, we, would have, uh, we would have three couples, a mother-in-law and a comedian, a mother-in-law and a comedian, and a mother-in-law and a comedian. And let's, I remember on the pilot and on the first week of shows, one of our comics was Richard Dawson, who later went on to great success uh, on Hogan's Heroes and on Family Feud. Mm -hmm. But Richard Dawson, for example, would get up and he would have notes on the, he would talk about how great his mother-in-law was. He would just extol her virtues. Then he'd sit down. And then this comic would get up and extol the virtues of the mother-in-law he was representing. But in the process, he would turn to this mother-in-law of Richard Dawson's and knock the heck out of her and talk about why she was not a good mother-in-law. Essentially, that was it. And it was just, you could understand why it had an unhappy yeah, ending. Chuck Barris was one of the most creative individuals that I've always that I've had the pleasure of working with, uh, from the Gong Show to two of the mainstays of games, uh, two of the first shows that went nighttime successfully, the dating game and the newlywed game back to back on Saturday nights. He he was just enormously creative, and um, I think one of the most, without question, one of the most successful. Uh, game show producers of all time. I didn't spend a lot of time with him on a personal basis, but professionally we spent a lot of time together. He was good to me. He gave me uh, the opportunity to do a couple of three shows that, that might not have been the most successful that I've ever had the pleasure of doing, but the fact is he gave me a shot, and I, uh, I never forgot that.